the bell icon to turn on notifications. It's time now for us to take a look at how we can link to data that we have on other worksheets and in other workbooks. So what you'll see on this worksheet here is I have four very small tables, each one representing a different city. And this is just showing basically revenue for that city. So maybe these are four different offices that a company has. And what I'm aiming to do here is I want to take the total revenue for each of these cities and I just want to put those values onto a summary sheet just showing the revenue. Now, this is a very small data set. I could effectively just jump across here and copy and paste these items across or even just type them in. But if I do that, what that's going to mean is that if any of these revenue figures change, the totals on the summary page are not going to update. So a much better way of doing this is to link to the cells. And linking cells is a really simple process. So let me show you how you would do it if you're linking to something on the same worksheet. So if I was just clicked in a cell here and I wanted to link to the total revenue for New York, all I need to do is type in equals as if we're typing a formula and then click on the cell that I want to link to. Hit enter and it's going to pull that value across. So now if anything was to change in this table, so let's just change one of these figures, you'll notice that the total updates because I'm just linking to this cell. So really nice and straightforward. Now the process isn't much different if you want to link on a different worksheet. So if we jump across to the summary worksheet, all I would need to do here is type in equals Go back to the linking worksheet and as I'm doing this, take a look at what's happening in the formula bar. So now it's put in the worksheet name and then an exclamation point and all I need to do is select the cell I want to link to. So again, let's review in the formula bar. I'm saying go across to the linking worksheet and select cell B11 or link to cell B11. Now that exclamation point in the middle is purely there so you have a little bit of separation between the worksheet name and the cell reference. So all we need to do now is hit enter and you can see it's pulled through that revenue value. Again, if I was to update these figures for London, so let's change this to 8,000. The totals changed to 16,500 and this has also updated. So I'm going to do the same for these other ones. Equals, let's jump across, select New York, hit enter. Equals, jump across, select the total for Paris and hit enter. And then finally, we're typing equals and selecting the total for Frankfurt and hit enter. And of course, I need to apply some number formatting here. So, so let's just apply pounds and take those decimal places down. So now we have a completely dynamic way of working. And this cuts down a lot of the work that I have to do because if any of these values change, I'm not having to go to the summary page and start updating any formulas because these will update automatically because I've created a link. So now we've seen how simple it is to link to cells on the same worksheet and other worksheets within the same workbook. Let's take a look at how this works if we're linking to data in a completely different workbook. So I have another workbook just here, which is basically similar data, but it's just for four other cities. Now, what I'm going to do to make this easier is I'm just going to split my screen. So I'm going to grab this Excel window and drag it over to the right hand side. And I'm just going to utilize Windows snapping feature to get these to display side by side so we can see both of them. Now what I want to do is jump across to the summary page and I'm just going to create another little table. Now the easiest way to do this or the quickest way is just do control C, control V to copy this table and then I'm going to remove the revenue figures and just change the cities. So we're going to type in Melbourne and let's do Cape Town, Hong Kong and then finally 
Bangkok. So now I want to grab the revenue figures from an entirely different workbook. Now this works in exactly the same way. We're just going to type in equals. We're going to go to our other workbook and select the cell. But take a look at the difference in the formula bar. Notice the first thing we have in square brackets is the name of the workbook that we're linking to. And the name of this workbook is quite long, so this looks a little bit messy, but we can see here we're going to the linking to other worksheets and workbooks to workbook. We're using the linking to worksheet and the cell B11. And notice that these cell references are absolute by default. Let's hit enter and it's going to pull that through. Let's do the same for the rest of these. So we're going to say Cape Town and hit enter. Then we've got Hong Kong and hit enter. And then finally we have Bangkok and hit enter. So now do these update when the values change in the other workbook. Well, let's try making an update to these Melbourne figures. And I'm going to make this quite large just so it's fairly obvious. I'm going to type in 10,000. Let's hit enter. And yes, you can see that not only does the total update in the workbook, it also updates in the linked workbook as well. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.